Hey guys, so if you're struggling with Apple and you're really wanting to get all your photos out of the Apple ecosystem because you just find it so confusing and you don't want everything to sync everywhere and you really want to have local control of your photos because Apple just makes it hard for you to do things, make things, make books, keep up with your photos. You know, you've got all your screenshots and everything in the Apple ecosystem, but you just cannot figure out how to get your photos out of the Apple ecosystem. I have a tip for you. So did you know that you can actually request from Apple a full copy of all of your photos and they will send them back to you. You can't do it just through iCloud or through the photos library. So I have a quick video that will show you how to request all your photos back from Apple and they will send them back to you in a lot of zip files but still you will have a full copy of all of your photos that you can then organize and have local control over on like an external hard drive which is what I recommend. So what you want to do first is go to privacy.apple.com. You'll come to this window and then you want to log in with your Apple ID. Okay. And then you will be into this thing that says manage your data. So you want to go to get a copy of your data and you just click on that and then you click what you would like to receive. So if you see down here, you can collect iCloud photos and then you continue. And you can tell it how much or how big the files can be for you to download. So I would just try, depending on your internet connection, I would just stick maybe with one gigabyte or two gigabyte. You can go up further if you know that you have a super fast internet connection, but just click one gigabyte for now. Um, and then complete your request. And so it does say that this may take up to seven days and they will send you an email when your data is ready and then you can download it. Now you might want to look and see how many gigabytes you have in your iCloud account and make that maybe five gigabyte, 10 gigabyte, because once you do this, you're going to get back, um, you know, they're just going to do it all and they're going to send you that many files to download. So if you do one gigabyte and you have like a hundred gigabytes in your uh, iCloud account, iCloud photos, and you're going to get a hundred different files to download, which might be a lot. So I hope that this video helps you. Please let me know, comment down below if you find this helpful and if you try it and um, sign up so that you can get more free tips from me and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. Bye.